Hi guys, um, my name's uh, Ed Veal and I'm a track cyclist on the, the Canadian National Cycling Team. Um, I, uh, I got in the sport late. I, I didn't start riding a bike till I was around 27. And uh, I started as a mountain biker and uh, someone told me to, to get fast on a mountain bike you had to train on the road. So I quickly switched to the skinny tire and uh, got addicted to the speed. And, and uh, really was just happy being the local fast guy. I was recreational, didn't really have any dreams of going to uh, the Pan Am Games or the Olympics. Uh, I was just uh, racing locally, doing some Ontario stuff and a little bit of racing in Quebec. And uh, started to kind of move up the ranks and uh, had some uh, some close people said to me, you know, uh, coaches and that tested me said, you know, you've got to you got to give this a shot and you, you got to go and try out for the national team. So at uh, 37 years of age, 10 years later, I, I thought, you know, I went and uh, tried out for the national team and uh, and they wouldn't even give me an invite because of my age. So that was uh, to get on the team. It, it took some persuasion to say, hey, you're 37, you're past your prime, you know, you don't have potential. Um, you know, we're building a program for, you know, uh, you know, these games and then uh, Tokyo and that. So uh, they said no. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't leave it at that and was very persistent and and uh, eventually made the team. So um, with a lot of uh, a lot of challenges making that team, trust me, a lot of help. So that's a whole other story. But um, the last year uh, traveling uh, in Europe, uh, racing World Cups, got to go to Glasgow, uh, uh, the Commonwealth Games. I narrowly missed a, me a medal there. We came fourth. Uh, it was uh, it's been an up and down battle. But one of the coaches when I made the team said, uh, you know, Ed, you know, you got yourself in great shape. You've made the team. You're physically capable. You, you know, you're kind of an anomaly at your age to be able to compete with these young guys. Um, the next old, oldest guy on my team's 25. So, I mean, um, but he says, you know, are are you independently wealthy? And I was like, no. <laughs> he said, do you have any idea how you're going to do this? And I was like, no. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I started scrambling and, uh, you know, and it's been a scramble ever since, um, you know, to, I was never a full-time athlete. This is the first time I've ever been a full-time athlete in my life. And uh, so a lot of things put on hold. I'm a, I'm a dad of an 11-year-old son. Uh, you know, I had a business that's on hold. A lot of things that uh, kind of been, uh, you know, waiting in the, in the wings while I'm, you know, got this little opportunity. So um, we, we have a new track. The, the cycling program's been amazing and uh, proud to say we uh, we pulled off a bronze medal in the, the men's four kilometer team pursuit uh, just two days ago. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Ed Veal, um, Pan Am Games medalist, uh, Limpet hopeful, and a uh, CanFund recipient since uh, 2015.